Jeffrey? Well, I chose Harriet the Harry Scorpion as uh -huh. my inspiration. My choice for the hood really had to do with Harriet's nature. There really is just this impending violence about the bug. That's what the single red leg is about. I get the executioner hood thing, but I find it to be such a gratuitous kind of slap in the face for a woman to be standing with a martini and not be able to drink the damn thing because she's wearing an executioner's hood, you know. Well, yeah, I also didn't imagine in a million years I was making an outfit for a woman going to a party No, of course martinis. not, of course not. But avant-garde should not be mistaken for unwearable clothes. Absolutely, but they're wearable. Let's see. I think the fabric's beautiful. You're right. I the love, the, I love the cut of it. I and love the a, colors. And this is an entire look. This is an avant-garde look. I didn't know that I was supposed to make an avant-garde, you know, dress well, or Well, it's clothes in the end. It's hard for me to critique that look. Is that yeah. all right? Do I get a pass on this one? I'm sweating. <laughs> I'm sorry. I really actually do think it's that cape that's really thrown me. Because it felt, it felt a little clumsy on her. Mm -hmm. as a trouser and a top. I do think it looks elegant. I've been a fan of this show for many years. No one's ever had the balls to send something like that down the runway. I would never wear it, except maybe the hood in the bedroom. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> when she had the shawl on, it sort of reminded me of like a very phallic symbol that was about to attack me, and some people might like that. It scared me a little bit. I think she could be like a backup dancer for like Lady Gaga, where I think your, your look should be the star of the show. Thank you, Anya.